What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So today is day number three here in Singapore. Uh, so today we'll be actually exploring a little bit of Singapore with the wife. We have a full day to ourselves. Um, the past, I guess, two days we were pretty much adjusting to the time zone difference, a little bit of jet lag, uh, visiting family, you know, getting clothes because our, our baggage was held up. But uh, today we'll be actually exploring, so doing more touristy stuff, so to speak. Um, a lot of the really famous Singapore spots like Marina Bay Sands, Gardens by the Bay, uh, Sentosa, we've already been to. So we may or may not go to some spots this year. But the plan is we'll be heading for breakfast first. We're going to Little India. Um, and Little India, you can find a lot of really good like North and South India and Nepali food there as well. Um, so my wife, you know, she grew up in South India. Bangalore and she really misses some of the local ethnic cuisines. Um, we do have Indian food in Austin where we live but uh, they do have some very specific dosa and uh, dosi is what they call it here in Singapore and certain drinks. Uh, so yeah we're gonna go check out Little India first and then right after that uh, we're gonna go to Fort Canning Park which is a nice park kind of like the downtown city hall area uh, and just walk around the downtown area. Alright we're here with wifey we just came to visit uh, Little India area. So Little India is here, but instead of lighting Little India, we are lighted at the Farrah Park train station. Uh, Little India pretty much stretches from here all the way to here, but if we were to walk, it's about 15 minutes and it's pretty hot outside. So we're gonna light here, uh, and I'm trying to find out which exit. We're gonna go have some nice Indian food, some good dosi, so yeah, let's head there. So over here, just to light it, we have an Indian Hindu temple over there, a couple of uh, Indian restaurants. We wanted to go to try this MTR restaurant which is pretty famous but they are closed so we're just gonna keep walking down Serangoon Road. There's gonna be a lot of food options for Indian food. We're walking along Serangoon Road there's a lot of old shop houses. These are like shop houses from the 50s and 60s in Singapore that they just remain shop houses. Back then there's shops below and people live on the top floor that's why there's called shop houses. Uh, we have another Indian Hindu temple right there. I'm gonna keep walking along Serangoon Road to hopefully find a good Indian restaurant that's open. Here at Sri Lakshmi restaurant to order some Indian food. First dish calls Igli. This is chai, the tea, served traditionally like that in India as well. Okay, so wifey got chai, she said it's pretty good? Yes. And the reason why you have it like that is because you put your sugar, you mix it up. If it spills, it spills in this extra little container. And she said in South India, that's how they serve chai as well. Wifey got masala dosa. And my food just got here too, the corn dosi. And my drink, mango lassi, just got here. Alright, so just finished food. What do you think? Is it pretty good? Yeah. Might be enjoy the food. And right now, all these are Indian grocery stores selling veggies on the side. So yeah, there's quite a few options. If you walk close to this little India, you see even more restaurants. But uh, right now we're gonna head back to the train station and head to our next stop, which is uh, Fort Canning Park. So we pretty much got over here to take the train to Dobby God, get out, exit B, and this is a big tunnel. So everyone here is waiting for the opportunity to take uh, photos to this uh, tree. So it's a pretty iconic spot. Um, a lot of tourists like to come here to take photos. So the line on a weekday is still fairly long. So you gotta wait here. And uh, whenever we get to our turn, I'll just show you guys what it's gonna look like. wait in line I'm just gonna go ahead and head to the convenience store 7-eleven grab a drink because it's pretty hot and humid 
And we just got our drinks from 7-Eleven. Gonna head back to the park, which is fairly close by. Here's also a map of uh, Fort Kenny Park. So there's quite a few things you can, you know, it's a park so you can just go around, take photos. Pretty cool. Wifey got her Coke, she's happy. A Coke here at a convenience store, $3.60. Pretty expensive. If you get a local drink like your polka lychee tea, it's like a dollar. So it's a lot more affordable if you buy local. Just done with the videos. It's down the stairs. People are taking videos and photos. Right now, we're gonna tour Fort Canning Park. So Singapore was under the British for many years and this is one of the, uh, I guess you can say, parks that they had cannons protecting the country. Okay, so we're walking around Fort Canning Park now. Uh, this is one of the, I guess, entrance to the bunkers. So back when Singapore was under the British, uh, unfortunately bunkers closed Mondays and Tuesdays, but this is one of the entrances to, uh, I guess, one of the bunkers where uh, the army base is for the British army. Entering the bunker. Park. And over here we have a cannon. This, like I said, used to be a fort by the British. So there's multiple places in Singapore see with these cannons. Um, and pretty much it's facing out right now. Obviously you have infrastructure, but back then this used to be one of the lookout points that if you see enemies, fire away. And all the flora and fauna, you have uh, Pretty amazing uh, plants and trees. Singapore, um, you know, used to be a tropical rainforest, so some of the ferns and plants you see here are based off the tropical climate. And what's cool about Fort Canning Park is this is the first botanical gardens back in the 1800s, um, and it's right in the middle of pretty much the city. So you guys can see hotels, like office buildings, just all in the distance. Uh, botanical garden right smack in the middle of the city. Okay, so we got to another scenic spot where a lot of people are saying this is like Bali in Singapore. Look at the little structure, pretty cool. So, good spot for photo op. Cheese, look back. All these little statues are pretty cute. This one almost looked like a bird and a turtle. And this one here on the floor looks like a, kind of like a little rhino. Going through this little garden. This is a Sang Nila Utama garden. This one looks like a frog, fish. So a uh, little history lesson. Sang Nila Utama is uh, Singapore's first king back when he was an old Malay fishing village. This was before the British came, before Singapore became an official country. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. And we're here on a weekday, so there's barely anyone. But there's all these little arches. People are saying that it's almost like you're in Bali. It's free to go to, free to visit. Nice to enjoy the little flora and fauna here at Fort Canning Park. Monkey. <laughs> There's quite a few of these arches. So we're leaving Fort Canning Park. It's pretty windy right now, so a nice little breeze. It's been pretty hot and humid. So we're heading towards uh, kind of like the town area, City Hall. Right now it's about a 750 meter walk to the train station and then we'll be nice in the AC. Uh, shopping mall, you can get food. and sweaty so we came over here to the mall orchard and I got myself a local dessert this is called chendol so yeah I'm gonna dig in it's so hot nice shaved ice dessert tastes good okay so you guys might be wondering what chendol is it's pretty much shaved ice 
this green stuff is like kind of like sago jelly but it's corn there's red bean and I did already kind of start it on it so it's pretty much shaved ice but the Asian version of it um, there's coconut milk as well so nice uh, shaved ice dessert especially in this heat Walking around Orchard Mall and there's an ape store so you guys might know high beast stuff like Supreme or Bape I got myself an ape it's pretty much an under Bape so pretty cool never went shopping an ape before Alright so just made it back home after a long day outside hot and humid uh, so we pretty much checked out the Fort Canning Park here in Singapore. Would recommend. Um, it's something that, you know, if you're on the town area, you want to check out a park. You want to check out uh, a spot for some photo ops like the tunnel spot as well as, uh, you know, some other cool spots to take photos around the downtown area in Singapore. It's free to check out. Um, so yeah, all in all, pretty tiring. We did quite a bit of shopping as well. So hope you guys like it. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next video.